Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming out today to honor my brother, Omar. My name is Sabrina, and because I'm Omar's youngest sister, there has never been a day when I didn't have him in my life. On this day, April 28, 2022, exactly 31 years after you were born, you will be laid to rest. This whole thing is still very much raw and unrealistic to me. I just have so many questions. I now know I will never get to have that one combo I've been trying to have for years and ask that one question that I've always wanted to know. So I'm gonna ask it now. Why did you hold so much in? I would have loved to have more time with you so we could finally sit down and talk about all the good and bad things you have been through and were going through. Just so that I could let you know that you weren't the only one going through life trying their best to become what they've always dreamed of and accomplish everything you had on your list of things to achieve. But somehow there's always some kind of speed bump coming in the way where in our eyes, those speed bumps felt more like valleys, sinking us further and further into the direction we were most scared of. I prayed every night that you would get the chance to live a soft life, full of happiness and feeling whole. Whole enough to not make those valleys you had to climb out of look like the speed bumps they were. I wanted to say, personally, sorry for giving up on you in your darkest years. I should have done more physically instead of praying and hoping you would get there on your own because I thought you were strong enough. And eventually, I know you would. Like the strong man I knew you were, but sad to think about you never getting to finish your story and make the superhero come back that I know you had in you. I can still picture you giving me water when I was younger every time I cried because you thought I was always hungry. Looking back on that now, it shows me that even though you didn't have formula or know how to make actual food at that age, you tried your best with what you had to comfort me in a way you knew how. And I should have done that for you. I should have tried my best to give you all the support you needed in order to excel in all the ways I could. You really loved all of us dearly in your own way. With your time on this place we call Earth, you gave love 100% of the time to everyone you came in contact with from young to old. You always left a mark on each person's life that you've touched, even if it's just a little. You were a tough cookie to crack, never showing your true, raw emotions, unless you were really comfortable with them or you just didn't care. You were a fighter and always tried to put on a tough guy act when everyone that truly knew you knew you were very emotional everyone knew you had a big heart that's why you always tried to protect it the hardest you could that's why you did everything you could to protect it you never gave up and for that we are proud we are so proud of you, and only if you knew how loved you were, and how much people appreciated the sparks you left in each one of our lives. On this day, and until forever, we will carry on those sparks, so that a little of you will always be left in our hearts. 
and keep her memory with us for all the days of our life. Rest in paradise, my brother. You gave no one a last farewell. Didn't even say goodbye. You were gone before we knew it. And only God knows why. A million times we will miss you. A million times we will cry. If love alone could have saved you, you never would have died. In life you were loved dearly. In death we love you still. In our hearts you hold a place. No one else can fill. It broke our hearts to lose you. But you didn't go alone. Because a part of us went with you. The day God called you home. We all will meet again someday. I know in a better place. I thank God he made you our brother. While you were on earth. In loving memory of our friend and brother, Omar. With love from all who loved you and cared for you. Friends, family, and loved ones. So much a man can tell you, so much he can say. You remain my power, my pleasure, my pain, baby. To me, you're like a grown addiction that I can't deny. Won't you tell me, is that healthy, baby? But did you know that when it snow, my eyes become large and the light that you shine can't be seen Baby, I can pay you to a kiss from a rose on the green